Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. This is going to be a little bit more in-depth look at one of my favorite AAC apps, Speech Assistant AAC. And the reason why I like it so much is it's very well designed and has lots of features and it's super affordable. And the USA App Store for iOS, I think it's $19.99. Um, and the app developer does a great job of keeping it updated and adding new features. There's also an Android version that's free. And then I think it's like $8.99 to unlock the full version. Uh, that one has a few fewer features, uh, but is definitely still worth taking a look at. Here on my iPad 9th gen, on iPad OS 16.1, I wanna show you what this looks like. So as you can tell, it's primarily a text-based app, but what makes it unique is that you can add a photo, a symbol, or an emoji to buttons to make them stand out. So in essence, if you had a user that preferred a text-based option, but wanted symbol support on certain buttons, this would be a great way to do that. So on this button right here, you can tell I have a picture of myself, and you can use the text-to-speech iOS voices, or you can use recorded speech. My name is Angela. So that's an example of recorded speech. Hello, how are you? And that's an example of an iOS uh, voice. And iOS 16, iPad OS 16.1 added a bunch more voices, like tons and tons in lots of different languages. In languages that already had voices, a bunch more were added. It's really game changing for uh, less expensive AAC apps now have a lot more voice options. So for example, if I want to go over and change the voice, so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna scroll down. So that one that you just heard was Ava Premium. Joelle and Noel Enhanced are the child voices. This is an example of the voice, Joelle Enhanced. And so I would select that, and then I could go up here and tap back, and I could go down here and tap done. Hello, how are you? And they're actually pretty good. Like, I'm pretty impressed. I hope that Apple keeps heading down that path and releases a USA English male child voice, and then hopefully quickly we'll add a uh, other languages for children voices on iOS, but this is definitely an exciting advancement. Um, and so down here on the right hand side, you have these uh, phrase categories. So that's common, food and drink, phrases. And then this area here is scrollable on each of those pages, words, I want to show you yes. some quick words like that. Activities. And whenever you type, you have the option to save a current phrase. It makes it really quick to add on the fly. Medical. Places. Google Maps. And if you wanted to, this particular app lets you do split view. And I could go over and pull up Google Maps um, side by side. So those three little dots at the top are your uh, way to know whether or not that's allowed or not. If I want to get rid of that, I'm just going to slide on over. At home, at work, feelings. And so you can see where I've added some emojis. And what's cool, long press, super easy um, editing. That particular one, I added that emoji before they added the option in here. So now I'm going to go in and look at 
I'll look for happy. And what that does is that adds a larger emoji. So you could either keep them small by typing the emoji or adding uh, the visual like I did there. And then you have an alert bell. And there's different options for that. You can do a rotated uh, text box. Um, Happy. Show what that looks like. Oh, it's because it cleared it. Hold on, let me go in. And I can set that. Let's see, let me find where that setting is. That may be on general. Direct speech and clear. So I'm done. Happy. Then I have that. I'm not going to flip my iPad because my whole video may go upside down and get stuck there. But you have this nice large window pop up that you can then show to a communication partner. Um, oh, there, I can rotate it that way. So the rotate button and these buttons over here on the side, I can choose what I want there. So I'm going to go back. And I want to show you here, go back over here, this one right here with these two people, that is how you get an easy way to toggle over for bilingual use. So I'm going to toggle here, go over to Spanish. Mi nombre es. And so I've set up a voice for each of my users. And let me show you which uh, languages that it officially supports, but then you have some cool other options. So I'm going to go here under Users. I'm going to go to User Profiles. I'm going to go up here to Add. And so you can see you have English, French, German, Dutch, and Spanish that are all pre-made content. You also have the option to create a blank setup without those default phrases. And so you could do that as a way to create a setup for a, a language that's not one of these that comes preset, uh, or you could import, say, maybe the English one, and then translate that. And so that's what I did. Let me go back. Go back. Back. Down here and done. So I'm going to go back to English. And I was answering a question earlier over on one of the Facebook groups about Korean AAC options, and there's really pretty limited. Uh, you could do something in CoughDrop using Google Translate. You would need to have a native speaker review it, which you'd have to do the same thing here. Over on CoughDrop, there was one adult Korean female voice that I could find. Um, when I tried selecting using the system default, it didn't pick up on these other iOS uh, voice options, but this app did. So this would be another um, alternative if you're looking for supporting other languages. So what I'm going to do, say I wanted bilingual English Korean. So here's my English setup. I'm going to tap over here, and then I'm going to go down to Korean. Angela. And so that's the a Korean voice. And where I downloaded that, again, it's over on, let's see, settings. And if you go down to accessibility and you go to spoken content and you go to voices, then you have all of these languages lots of additional languages now. Under English, you can go in and so that 
In order for apps like this to kick up and offer these as options within the app, you have to have gone through and installed them. But I wouldn't go through and install everything because you're going to blow up the memory <laughs> on your iPad. Um, so I have Joel and Noel, I think, downloaded. I have Joel set right now. But under Korean, for the longest time, there was only one Korean female voice available. Well, all of a sudden now, as of iOS 16, iPadOS 16.1, we have lots of options. And you can listen to the regular, the enhanced, and the premium. And you can see how much memory they take. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 지안입니다. 저는 한국어... 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 민수입니다. 저는 한국어 음성입니다. So yay for having a male, adult male voice option. Those are your Siri voices. Those don't typically show up in AAC apps, so I wouldn't pick that. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 소라입니다. 저는 한국... 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 소연입니다. 저는 한국어 음성입니다. So kudos to Apple for really like getting on their A-game and adding a bunch more iOS voice options. And the premium ones take more memory, but they... 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 유나입니다. 저는 한국어 음성입니다. So it's definitely a bump up compared to the enhanced voices. So I want to show you how you find those. Let's get back out of that and go over here. 예, 아니요. And how, because I don't speak Korean. Oki, <laughs> Oakley English here, just in Oklahoma. <laughs> Don't speak Korean, but you could use Google Translate out from Safari. And so say I wanted to um, translate goodbye. Whoops. And then I'm going to tap this copy button. And then I'm going to go over here, and I know somewhere I saw goodbye. Here it is. Long press, and I'm going to delete out that. Paste. And just for my own purposes, so I know what these buttons say. And this, you could do this also just to support bilingual use. So the label isn't what's spoken. What's spoken is what's up in this top box right here. So save. And then... 안녕. Cool. So super easy to edit. Um, you also have a way over in your settings... to back up and export... My favorite way here is this one, AirDrop Complete Backup, because that includes a complete backup of the categories, phrases, recordings, photos to another device with AirDrop. So that sends everything. Well, everything except for your settings. So I would send that, and then I send over the settings because I've done customized color scheme here that I really like. Um, you also can, under here, and layout, and you have these action buttons, and so you can even recolor these. I just discovered this fairly recently. I thought it was so cool. So, say you wanted that speak button to be a lighter shade of purple to stand out more or you wanted it to be pink back back done and then you can reorder those so layout in color scroll down Main screen action buttons. I'm going to put that one back to the purple that I like. Um, and then I can 
See these little hamburger looking things, the three lines? If you do a long press on that, I did that to move this users up closer to the top so it made it easier to toggle back and forth for bilingual use. If I wanted the edit phrase up closer to the top, you could do that, or the show the full screen or the flip. You have total control of where you want these things placed. And then you have full screen action buttons, and you can reorder those as well. And they are customizable. Back, back, done. So I want to revert back over to English. Tap. Hello, how are you? Go over to Korean. Let's clear that out. Hello, how are you? Which I would need to translate that into Korean. Let's see how we would say that. Hello, how are you? And then I'm going to copy. Make sure I'm on the right user here. I'm going to long press. Paste. Put in the parentheses, and I'm not sure how much of that's going to show up on a button, but we'll see. Oh, it did. And you can make these buttons uh, bigger if you want to. I haven't really had a need to do that. This seems to be a pretty good size, from, but you can change the size, size of these. 안녕하세요. 어떻게 지내세요? Anyway, um... I've just had a few questions lately asking about Speech Assistant AAC, so I thought I'd give it a little bit more of a, a preview here. Um, I'm going to switch back over to English, and I'm going to say goodbye for now. Goodbye. Hope this helps.